thank you for visiting my YouTube page and taking the time to watch this trailer on my new book titled Stealing Valor, the book Stolen Valor, the Law. The Stolen Valor Act of 2013 Public Law 113-12 H.R. 258 is a United States federal law that has passed by the 113th United States Congress. The law amends the federal criminal code to make it a crime for a person to fraudulently claim, having received any series of particular military decorations and awards with the intention of obtaining money, property, or other tangible benefits from convincing someone that he or she rightfully did receive that award. It is, in fact, that this law has been argued inside a courtroom frequently, and sometimes with desired results and corrective actions. However, the law itself doesn't seem to serve as a deterrent to stop the idiots who commit this violation from doing it with malice and deception, intended to serve whatever purposes they seek, including money, raising money funds on false charity foundations, or getting something in return, such as a political position or favor for claiming to be a decorated serviceman or servicewoman. This book breaks it down to a simple understanding of the law and its limitations. This book is a condensed edition of many other books out there on stolen valor and should be considered a guidebook or a resource book as it carries many citations within the references to books and articles relevant to making stolen valor arguments or determinations. As a Vietnam veteran in the United States Army, I've observed the practice of stolen valor in various levels and practices, whether it be minor in nature or major in the manner of exaggerating the military record as is defined on their 214, DD 214. I served with honor from July 1967 to July 1969 on active duty and finished my reserve duty in July 1973 as a medical specialist corpsman. I have seen or witnessed great heroism that should never be understated or slighted by the insult or disrespect of those who never saw combat or wore the uniform with honor. Anyone who wears medals, ribbons, patches, symbols not earned is an imposter and a fake and should be challenged to be in such a person. Stealing Valor is a mini book based on the law passed by Congress and signed into law by President Obama. It is, in fact, the second edition of the first act passed in 2006 that was struck down by the Supreme Court as being unconstitutional and a violation of your First Amendment. There is much controversy about the law. In fact, it criminalizes lying when lies facilitate profit, financial gains, or a means to promote something that has a monetary value, such as a prestige position in office. The issue of free speech is the center of the book as it differentiates the meaning of the phrase stolen valor. Various examples are cited, and the book is a great stepping stone for further examinations of the law that is still sitting sideways with many veterans and organizations. In fact, some national organizations are actively referring imposters or alleged imposters to vigilante committees that review their military history of the persons identified and determine whether it's a fake or fraud or an opportunistic person seeking self-importance or financial gain for themselves. Consider this a guidebook, a resource, a reference book. Let it open up your mind on the matter. As always, I thank you for taking the time to watch and read my books. Remember, this is a book filled with citations and other resources that cover the matter in more detail with specific cases. It opens a door to discussing stealing valor. When in fact, the person may be innocently doing something wrong, but not going about it the right way. On the other hand, there are examples of blatant and deliberate manipulations of the law before the passage of the Second Act, and how they benefited from using their stolen valor to their own personal benefit and greed. Thank you. Be safe.